Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ilyas and this is your 36 tutorial. And in this tutorial we want to uh, add some um, very something very important. Because look, now we can switch between the categories but we cannot go back to the previous state where we have all the all the elements uh, listed on the on the screen. So what I want to have, I want to have a class, a new category, I, I'll call it all. So I'll expand the filter. I create a new uh, list entry, and I just say all, like this. And I want this all to be default. So uh, the easiest way to do that, we can already uh, wrote this all right here. We can uh, copy this all uh, to every class, to every class property. So we can basically add the class of all to every uh, element. Hold on, now we have this n. <laughs> Sorry, get rid of this n. So now it's uh, it should work well. Now when I click at all, uh, everything will be displayed on the screen because every every um, portfolio entry has class of all. But when I when we uh, load the page on the beginning, we want these this all to be highlighted. We can just go ahead and uh, write a script for this to make it highlighted, just um, like add class of active at the beginning. But well, it's not the easiest way because we can just go ahead and uh, go to this HTML structure and add this active class by default. So, and by default, this all class is highlighted. And now uh, we can switch between the images like we uh, did before. And we can go back to this, to this all, which is pretty cool. And we also have this text descriptions below everywhere. And if you don't like the idea that this image is jumped a little bit when, when you switch between the categories, um, well, it's because they take time to fade in and to fade out. That's why you just get this effect of jumping. Uh, you can go ahead and instead of animating the elements, you can just simply hide them. And you know, in one of the first of tutorials, in this tutorial set, I taught you guys this hide and show functions. And they basically do uh, hide or show the elements. And now you guys look for the function fade, fade in or fade out, right here, for example. And you can replace this fade out through this uh, hide and it only will be hidden and fade in can be replaced um, by show like this so now when I switch between the categories they don't jump anymore they just appear right away so as I said you can uh, pick your uh, pick your option you can either have show and hide or fade in and fade out which is very e easy to uh, to memorize all right, uh, so what else uh, can we add to this tutorial? Um, uh, by the way, uh, I forgot to tell you, you know, these arrows which I have here, these images, they are actually uh, Google Chrome standard arrows for Mac. For example, in Mac, if you uh, slide with two fingers to the right or uh, a magic mouse with one finger to the right, you'll see this uh, arrow right here, and I just simply made a screenshot of it, so I hope Google won't uh, uh, sue me for this, for, for uh, stealing their, their arrows, but anyway, um, I, I don't think it's going to be a problem. So, uh, now I think that's it for this tutorial, because I've we only have one minute, and we won't make any more in one minute. So in this tutorial, I'll figure out some cool stuff we are going to do. And I hope you guys like this one. So see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day.